welcome back to Advanced Kids, where we're all about teaching children the heart of God, the Word of God, and the character of God. I hope that you had an absolutely amazing week last week. We didn't pop up a video because we just spent time in every single campus doing awesome activities for our dads. I hope that you had an absolutely amazing Father's Day Sunday celebrating the dads in your life. Our last series was called Elected by God, and we've just finished it. Wasn't it absolutely amazing? We got to talk about all of the amazing men and women that God elected and selected to take care of His people, the Israelites. Now we're getting really close to the end of our freedom acronym in our series, God's Freedom Timeline. We're up to the letter D. And this series is called The Divided Kingdom, where we're gonna be talking all about how Israel finally split into two. Not only were they no longer the Israelite kingdom as a whole, there was so much divide in the leadership that they split into two different kingdoms. One kingdom was Israel, which took 10 tribes, and the other was the tribe of Judah, which was only two small tribes of the whole Israelite kingdom. We're gonna learn all about why that happened and the freedom purpose that God had for his people, the Israelites, all throughout this great divide. Why don't we jump in now to some teaching? So you might be asking, what is this great divide? What was it all about? Well, over a thousand years ago, there was a king named Solomon. We talked about him in our last series. Solomon asked God for wisdom and God blessed him abundantly with so much more. But after a little while, Solomon got so used to the things that God had blessed him with and he started to lustfully look at all of the women of different countries that his heart began to harden. He got so prideful, he started to believe that he had created everything for himself. His wisdom was switched away from God and instead he started being wise like the world. This was sad because Solomon had been such a great man before, but because he wasn't listening to God anymore, his blessings started to go away. He started to be more and more nasty by the day. He stopped taking care of God's people and instead started treating them as slaves. In all of this, God knew that he would need another plan. But by then, there was a royal succession. And so what would happen is when Solomon died, his son would take over and God was aware. He was aware that Solomon's son was not gonna be any different than Solomon. So what he did is he made Solomon appoint a man named Jeroboam. Jeroboam became in charge of some of the workers that Solomon had. He gained authority. And because of that, God knew that he would be able to use Jeroboam in order to create this great divide and bless Jeroboam's tribes of Israel. Why don't we jump in and watch this video that's a little bit more about Solomon, the wrong choices that he made, and what's gonna happen next. Solomon also built cities for his many chariots and horsemen. He built everything he desired in Jerusalem and throughout his entire kingdom. King Solomon grew richer and wiser than any other king on earth. People from every nation came to hear the wisdom God had given him. But the story of Solomon does not end like it began. Solomon married many women from the surrounding nations who worshipped idols and gods created by man. In his old age, Solomon began to turn his heart to worship other gods instead of being completely faithful to worship the Lord, his God. As Solomon's reign came to an end, the anger of the Lord came upon him because of his disobedience. God decreed that after his death, Solomon's son Rehoboam would become king. God would then tear all the tribes of Israel away from Rehoboam, except one. From that day forward, Israel was split once again and led away from following God. Wow, isn't it 
it so incredible just to watch how Solomon used to be an amazing man, but because he stopped following, following the call of God, everything was stripped away from him. Well, throughout this series, we're going to be holding on to this memory verse. It's in 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 31. And it goes like this. I am going to tear the kingdom from Solomon's hand and give you 10 tribes. Ready? One more time. 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 31. I am going to tear the kingdom from Solomon's hand and give you 10 tribes. Now this is a memory verse where God is talking to Jeroboam about the promise that he has for him and the freedom purpose that God had all along for our lives. Isn't it absolutely amazing that even in the dark times where Solomon was disobeying God, God still had a freedom purpose for every single one of his believers. Well, that's us for today. I hope that you've learned and caught something absolutely amazing about how to be an awesome believer, how to walk out the freedom purpose for your life, and how to keep listening to God, even when pride might try and come into your heart. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing week and join us back here next week for part two of our brand new series, The Divided Kingdom. See you later.